uh, will have a content like this. So here is what what is saying is that and this is the beta. This is the reference line. A reference line will draw it one. Okay, what is what is alpha? Alpha is this one. And beta is this one. Okay, there's alpha, there's a beta. Okay, what is the concept we have to apply? So now, now for 2Q charge, if there are 16 lines are there, for Q charge, it'll be eight lines. Will I agree? And if I assume there's a tube, this everything is a tube. So what is a tube? So like a where we are not seeing the tube. Okay, that tube is what? I'll call this a tube. Hmm? This is will become a tube here now. The number of lines of force in a tube should remain constant. This is the property of this one. But total number of lines of force emitted by this will be different. So here we'll uh, further continue. So one, two, three, four, five. First, first, let me finish off this lines of force also. Then you get some some idea. You'll get it. How many are there here? Total, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I have to draw another thirty-two lines. Let me try to. Thirty two are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. I have to draw a few more lines, sir. Twenty four, twenty five. It's a rough diagram. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. Okay, this idea, no. So number of lines of force to to make you understand actually. Uh, spacing between them all everywhere should be same. So to explain the concept, I took like this here. So here number of lines of force, how many? 16 lines. Here, 32 lines of force. But if you draw a tube, number of lines of force in a tube should be same. Okay, no, uh, and the number of lines of force are proportional to charge, amount of charge. So how many lines of force that are there in the tube? So I'll, I'll take help of the unit solid angle. For what is a solid angle for a spherical surface four pi? And the number of lines of force are proportional. So therefore, this will become Q by 4 pi into solid angle. That should be equal to 2 Q by 4 pi solid angle alpha. What is alpha 1 alpha 2? Solid angle subtended by the tube at Q and so Q and uh, this sigma 2, this will be solid angle subtended by the lines of force at the 2 Q. So this will go for further alpha 1 will become 2 pi 1 minus cos alpha half cone angle. 2q 4 pi will be 2 pi 1 minus cos beta. Mm -hmm. what, what, how to interpret this? 
lines of force per unit solid angle into solid angle will give number of lines of force in the tube at this particular point and number of lines of force in a tube should remain same so actually uh, you draw later on I, I don't have this one so draw here 16 lines 16 lines here 32 lines you take a tube the number of lines of force in a tube should remain same so how to explain the number of lines like a, for a for a full spherical surface what is the solid angle 4 pi so lines of force per unit solid angle into th this much of solid angle what is solid angle here 2 pi into 1 minus cos alpha will become the solid angle subtended by the tube at q so you have to interpret this in separately so what is 2 q by 4 pi lines of force per unit solid angle at point charge q lines of force per unit solid angle at point charge q into solid angle will give number of lines of force in the tube at q and that should be equal to number of lines of force in the tube at q because number of lines of force in a given tube should remain same what is the basic idea number of lines of force in a tube see actually we don't study the tubes again there are uh, different types of tubes are there one problem is there in book and it is getting circulated whether it is useful or not useful nobody knows since it's there in book and we are dumping it <laughs> just a way Okay, solve this. So what we get it here, uh, th this will be Q by 2. Okay, now we'll continue. Uh, this will be 1 minus cos alpha by 2 equal to 1 minus cos beta. Solve this, we'll get expression for the alpha and beta. 1 minus cos alpha, we can write it as 2 sin square alpha by 2 by 2 so sin square alpha by 2 So sine of okay. This is uh, what is the use of this? Okay, to study the lines of force. As such, we uh, at our level, we, it's just one numerical, but it's having wide applications at higher higher part of physics. For us, it's just like an idea of the lines of force hmm? may not be very very important. That's what I feel. Hmm? Then in most of the books, what is the use of that? Actually, the solid angle concept is in your own.